GreenFiles.com and review. What I'm looking at today is The Ray Redemption, a movie that will pummel you into submission, and not necessarily in a good way, if you can do that in a good way. If you saw 2015's Daredevil on Netflix, one of the best things about that season, in fact, I would argue the best thing about the entire three seasons thus far, was what most people call the hallway fight scene. What's so amazing about this scene is that it's first off, it's done in one shot, and it's so frenetic and kinetic, and just works on so many levels. Though, that scene was likely inspired by Gareth Edwards' 1911 movie, The Raid, which appeared on Netflix recently. I believe it's called there The Raid Redemption, though as far as I'm aware, there is no difference between The Raid Redemption and The Raid. In any case, it was a pretty good movie, but there was a problem with it, namely too much of a good thing. Have you ever watched a movie that kept throwing things at you, things you liked, but kept throwing so much of them at you, after a point you were just, okay, I get it. And that's the feeling I got from The Raid. It, its motivating force were fight scenes. And a great fight scene, like with Daredevil and the hallway scene, it's so many working parts coming together, it can be beautiful. Though the thing is, with the raid, all it is, for the most part, is fight scenes with occasional conversations between them. As I said, it's too much of a good thing. They're very visually impressive, but the thing about a fight scene in any movie is that it's a dance. More so with martial arts than, let's say, boxing. The same logic applies, but it's less obvious for the most part with boxing than it is with martial arts. And with the raid, there are just so many of these fight scenes. As I said, their the choreography is great and it, they're visually impressive, but there are just too many of them. And it gets really dull after a point because you've seen them all before. And there's only so many ways you can beat up somebody and make it look interesting. And another thing which the movie misses is that it's, it, it, it walks a very fine line between utterly fantastic and realistic, and not very well at times, in that the punishment that these guys dish out in each other, in reality, is unfeasible, to say the least. They're like kneeing people in the head, and the person... <clears throat> Moments later, we'll get up to fight again. No! If I knee you in the head, if I'm elbowing you in the head, if I'm doing all sorts of things to your head, you're not getting up again. It's just dumb and it defies logic. And that for me took part of tying into the idea that there are just too many fight scenes in this movie. It began to take me out of the movie. As I said, fight scenes are choreography. It's a dance. And when the characters are relatively unaffected by the combat, it comes more and more like a dance. Now, maybe not necessarily visually, though there were those moments too, but definitely in terms of what's actually happening on screen. And that just doesn't work for me. If there had been less fights, they would have ironically had more impact. Again, go to the Daredevil scene from 2015. There are other fights in Daredevil, but they're spaced out much better. Now keep in mind, Daredevil is a 13 episode series, while The Raid, Redemption, is one movie. But there's still, I would argue, there are more fights in the hour, hour and a half of The Raid, Redemption than there are the entire run of Daredevil. And it kind of undermines the movie, by my reckoning. So, if your thing is fight scenes, to the exclusion of virtually all else, you're probably going to love The Raid Redemption. If you like, I don't know, a little stronger characterization, a little more motivation to your martial arts movies, The Raid Redemption is kind of weak. 
This is Brian with ScreenPlows.com and Review.